So hello everyone, and welcome to a bit more Mercy Invisibility. Um, going to try and do something new, going to try and do a bit of more roguelikes, and first of all, we're going to try Wazak. Wazak? Wazak? Wazhack? Wazhack? Wazak. I'm not, not sure how it's sure. pronounced. Um, I'm just here to m mock, I guess. Mock um, and provide, provide helpful, provide helpful, helpful advice. Heads. Because I'm, I, I generally, well, I've played it a couple of times, I haven't got too far. Um, and I usually play as the Valkyrie, but Sam has said to me, go with the Huntress. Well, basically, when you start this game, there's a little helpful skeleton at the top of this um, screen who, if you hover over any other character, they're like, this game is really hard, play as the knight. No, seriously, play as the knight. No, really, play as... So, you, you, for the first few times through, you play as the knight, but I mean... So you've got your knight and your Valkyrie... Who are like the similar kind of character? Well, they've got not they've, the same. They've got, they've got different abilities, and yeah, the, the, they've got the, the same pooch. You yeah. see the Dalmatian that's in between them. You get that, Regardless. whichever one you play with. And then next to them, you've got the wizard and the witch. Who I haven't played as. You've got a little tiny tabby cat. Look, how, I did play as the white witch once. How did Died very quickly and then gave up. I did not know what I was doing. Um, and then you've got the. Sorcerer. Who is he? The sorcerer and the sorceress. I don't. I don't know. I don't like. I, again, like I imagine it's just a, a, a difference of skills between these yeah. four. But like, um, I th they probably start with an affinity for a certain type of magic or something, yeah. don't they? And then they've got the black cat, and then the hunter and the huntress over here have a boxer dog, which is just amazing. And they are, they have naturally high dexterity, which is good with your bows um, and your accuracy in general. I think yeah, because if you notice, like. I don't know. Like, I think roll, I'm not sure what their stats are. Him a couple of times. Well, I, I, I usually like to. Customize. I know, but if you re-roll, you can get a sense for where their highest um, stats are and where they should. So they're, they're, be. They're, they're they're basically pretty much always max dexterity. Yeah, they need to be really with the bow. So g generally, for these characters, I usually min my wisdom and my intelligence. Even <laughs> you though just don't care. That's but a for things like magic, right? That's less for magic. I mean, maybe maybe I'll put it up to eight. Um, Charisma down a little bit. I mean, shops aren't super important. Constitution, max it out. Super relevant. Dexterity, max it out. Strength, carry capacity. I mean, if I'm not always using a bow, then I don't need it, but... But you get melee oh, bows as well. Oh, maxes at 14, so... Oh, okay. I know, 1.3. charisma? Yeah, charisma. There you go. Right, dive in with your box of puppy. Uh, do you want to name or anything special? Um, you can do... Well, Su Susanette. What's wrong with Susanette? Quite Susanette is a nice Susanette. name. Susanette. Um, and do you want to name your boxer pup once we're in? Oh, for in, yeah. We'll name the boxer pup. Ooh, a hunter! Fire your arrows by pressing V or by clicking the attack icon. There you go. So. Oh, so you got a different intro as well. There you go, then. So while scouting a nearby forest, you come across a le the legendary dungeons of Waz Waz Wazuk. This place has been the subject of stories passed from mother to daughter since before Roman times. It is said that deep within the dungeon lies the amulet of Zor. Is that Zor or, or is in like Zar? Oh, Zar! Zar! The Amulet of Zar! <laughs> An artifact of unfathomable value. Go forth and make it yours. So, top right hand corner, you've got your map. Ooh, some arrows and a. Wow, look at that. Look at that to start with. A, hunt, a, horn, a horned bow and, bow, and some wooden arrows. Just perfect. So, in case you haven't played Wazak before, um, it's Dungeon Crawler. You basically keep descending until I guess you die or you finish the game. I'm not sure if that even is that is even a finish. To well, be you get that amulet, I guess. Yeah, no, just you, just, die with but it. I mean the way it works is it is turn based. So yeah, so one move like doing that it counts as one move. One turn. One yeah. turn. So everyone so, else, all the enemies in the dungeon get a turn at the same time if they're aware of my presence. Yeah. Um, the main thing that generally gets you killed or the things you have to work on in the game is that when you start, you don't have a clue about anything. All of the scrolls are picking up. I don't know what they do. All the potions I'm picking up, oh, I haven't got a clue what that does. So yeah, And even the equipment, I mean, if you go yeah. through your equipment, you picked up that bow, but you don't actually know. Hmm. It could be cursed, it could be blessed, it could be awesome, it could be bad. You don't know. The only things you know are the things you actually start with, which are those those bits. Yeah, and even then, there's probably more information to, to know about them. But, like, you don't know what it is. Yeah, you can um, find out more. But, I mean, you, you get things like scrolls to identify... Um, equipment and things so, that you find along the way. What skills can she get? What talents can she get? Okay, so every time you level up you'll get a point you can put into one of these. Do um, you want to just, just carry on until we level up and then we'll, we'll yeah, deal we'll with Yeah, we'll have a look at them at that point. Assuming I, I make it You haven't named your pooch. Ugh, alright, alright. Name, name your pooch. Look how cute he is. Oh, he, you so name cute. him. What do we call him? Call him Sir pooch a lot? <laughs> Does he pooch a lot? Sir Pooch a lot? Um... So pooch a lot, right? Okay, excellent. Um, Love it. 
Um, he's, yeah, a, he's a magic card. He needs to capitalise that around each of them. Of course he does, yeah. <laughs> It's got bubbly, bubbly, bubbly potion. So again, I don't know what that potion does. Um, am, I, am I picking a spell book? Is it well, do, If there's a cool. shop around the corner, then of course... Oh, here we go. Straight into combat. So the guy told me that I want to be using V to fire my arrows. Go down a bit because he's going to move forward. Oh. Yeah, he's going to move forward. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Why is your... Uh... I don't know why it's getting blocked. Oh, that's fine. He died. Okay, so I'm basically going to be using arrows for everything, yeah? Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you get bladed bows. Oh. So put your growls at the dagger. <laughs> so put your lot. That would be great. <laughs> um, so I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I can pick up all these arrows as well then? Yeah, yeah, pick up all the arrows. I mean, you, like I say, you, you make... So what, is, what is glitching out about your bow? It shouldn't be doing that. I don't know. Is it, is it, a, is it something wrong with your bow? No, it's, Wait, it's, a start, it's a starting bow. A bow. Change to the horned bow and well, see if, if it's cursed, it might... then... Well, exactly. You want to know. Well, but I don't want to know. The use... horned bow is going to be better. All right, I'm going to risk it. Usually I don't do this. Usually I don't equip no, anything but, until I mean, I'm I, sure of it. You need to know whether this is your bow being stupid. And now press V. No, no it's not. It's your game. I'm not holding down the mouse button. Oh. Well, there you go, then. That explains it. Yeah, you need to hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I have, like I said, I've never, never shot a bow in my life, Sam. No wonder your, uh, your arrows were a little limp there, <laughs> darling. Oh, okay, know, really so that... did you, have you been, yeah, okay, okay, carry on then. Oh. Well, two of them. Okay, can yeah. I hit them without hitting my dog? Possibly. If you aim down the, the side, you'll get a dot on the ones you're hitting. Yeah, so you're not going to so hit those, your So dog. Those, those white dots indicate that I'm going to be hitting those targets. Yes, and you're not going to hit your dog, so you're fine. Fire there. Oh, wow, what a shot. Yeah. Like a boss, and then again. hit him. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. And so do I oh, no, no. So did you hit your dog? You hit Sarah. You hit you Sarah. Hit Sarah right. Just, just go down the ladder, and you'll yeah. Okay, so I can melee with my bow as well. Then you can hit them with your uh, bow. That's good. Which is a lot of fun. Um, but I imagine, I imagine it doesn't do it when you're as much damage as the glass. Right, let's move on. As uh, swords and stuff. Well, it depends if it's got a blade stuck to it. Oh, Ooh, that's useful. So yeah, you progress further and further deeper down into the dungeon until, oh, son of a, yeah, stop son of a cobalt. Stop brushing, stop brushing, oh, wow, there you go. Critters. There you go. <laughs> big, that well, wasn't a crit, it was just a big, big hit. It was a big hit. Oh, so this, this honed, this, this honed bar, I didn't actually check it. It could be cursed. Oh no, it's uncursed, cool. Hasn't welded itself to me, that's nice. Um, yeah. So. Pick up some innards. <laughs> I, I, I do kind of know what I'm, I'm doing a little bit. Like for instance, hammers and weapons and stuff like that, you don't really want them. They're very heavy and they, aren't worth much money. Yeah. So I generally try and ignore them. The things that are good to sell are generally were armors. Armor spell. They are bloody. Yeah, and the, the scrolls and the potions are also get I love the price. chest, the suspense is killing me. What's right, in right. the chest? A Fooby Bletch scroll? It's a Fooby Bletch scroll, Tim. <laughs> and a read and a re a, a read and it, it, a read I, I think so. I'm dyslexic I'm it's, dyslexic, so that just says read me. Even though it's a, a re-admi, re yeah, yeah, it's a re-admi scroll, but it is. Leave, the, yeah, leave the spell book in the. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to spell books because I don't know. I don't know. Are you going to run the risk and drink from the fountain? I always drink from the fountain. Go on then, drink. Ah, yeah. mana fountain. Oh, it turns water turns blue. Nothing else happens. They can be good. Shoot him in his behind. He doesn't know. He's having a nice dream about Aww. cats, I guess. Poor Sue. You get you get to feel sorry for the rats because you just insta kill them. Well, until you get like to the rabid rats and they're just oh, like the oh, spewing out those drains. And oh. they poison you and the poison lasts check forever. Out, check right, okay, so we've we passed the first milestone. It keeps track of it every so yeah, often. So there'll 100 be a feet down. 100 feet marker or a marker for age to 100 feet down. You go, right, this is a sign potion here. No up. idea what it does. Oh. You got an acid it's blob. Fine. You're, you're an archer. You don't care about the blobs. This is the thing. I'm going to have a different time worrying about different things. You gain a level. Yay. <laughs> level, level up. up. <laughs> okay, so I can see a lot of familiar ones, but there's a lot of different ones here as well. Okay, so, so what, click what? through them briefly. Yeah. So gast gastronomy will help you ID food that you find, um, and it means that you find more food randomly, which is good. Now, as the Valkyrie, this, later is, this on is usually it, my first choice. Yeah, later on it means that food doesn't damage you, which is also mm. good. Um, the bottom left, well, well, if we go through them, so first aid means that you regen health more quickly. I've never, ever gone through Oh, yeah, it. it just seems like if you're going to rest, you rest. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter. No, um, weapon knowledge is not really relevant when you're running bows because you can't do yeah, a Yeah, the first part of it's irrelevant. Um, 
and again later on so the last couple are, are good but again I don't generally touch that one as the huntress um, this is big this is bloody good for bows yeah especially yeah, the last yeah. one 100% more yeah so like yeah, he's like you score 50% more crits with normal weapons or 100% more when you're firing a bow so like you know 300% more chance of a crit with a bow is, is big ridiculous big yeah, time exactly. especially when you've got high dex as well because I think dex affects a crit two mm. crit um, but again possibly not an early pick I don't know um, commerce yeah it, it depends I mean if I level up just before I found a shop and I'm about to sell a load of stuff sometimes I'll just stick a level in it but I mean mm. yeah Beast Mastery is amazing <laughs> you say amazing but okay I've, I've watched your game and I just thought you were just being silly and I thought it was just dumb because um, you get a wand which is the the wand of create monster yeah. And it will create, I think, okay, anywhere from like three to eight monsters. If you idea it, it's like, um, creates a meal for you. Unfortunately, you have to kill it first. Yeah, yeah. Or something like that. And that's what it's for. It's for XP and it's for food. Um, but if you read through the bottom one, monsters that you create are always tamed. So your pot, pet box that you have now, he's your pet. And any monsters that you create, which can be anything from a tiny little rat to a giant troll... I had a troll, I had, had a... Oh, you had, you had like, well, the best gargoyle. one was, like, yeah, you walked into a room and there was, like, a, a, a fire giant there or something, and you were, like, summon, and you've got two giant gelatinous cubes. Yes. And you were just like, have it fun was, in there, guys. Was, yeah, close the door, <laughs> walk around a bit so that the turns tick over, see all the damage, click, 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 click. Um, was, so, yeah, Beast Mastery, very fun, but perhaps not early on. I don't, I don't I think, know. I don't think you want to go for it unless you get a lot of Create Monster. That's and the even, thing I even, found, was it four ones mm, of Create Monster? And it was just insane. And a good three or four scrolls as well. Yeah. Um, so, not yet, but possibly later. And now this is another early pick for me. This is another the, early pick as well, yeah. yeah. Um, she's, as you're ticking through, your, your stuff in your inventory is just getting ID'd. Because, like, you, you underestimate the power of knowing what stuff does. The um, thing is, even just blessed, cursed, or not cursed it's, it's is so, worth knowing. Yeah. Um, so I, I, for me, it's either that or it's the, the top one. I'm, I'm going to go those. for gastronomy first because... So the last two, mycology is making potions. Oh yeah, sorry, it's gastronomy. You've got to find a lot of mushrooms for this and yeah, I've you never you have like it. 10 mushrooms and you still couldn't and make still a potion. I still don't have enough to make a potion. Nightmare mode is, well... We've never got it once, yeah. You it, take more damage and, and you gain more XP, let's just leave it. So gastronomy I'm, or Dwayne Rob... Dwayne... Dwayne Roberts? Dwayne Robertson. Dwayne Rock. Dwayne the Rock. Johnson? What's that? Um, <laughs> Dwayne... Is it Dwayne Johnson? Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne Johnson! Johnson. From, um, no, it's from Red Dwarf. What does he say? The cat. Oh, God. Oh, Dwayne Diddley. <laughs> Dwayne Diddley! Yeah, that's what that is, see. That's, that's Dwayne Diddley's power. Right, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go gastronomy first because I've often been screwed for food. Yes. So I can you get it early. I want to screw the pooch. 